Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a different video. This is not fashion or makeup related, so if you don't care, then keep watching. But if you do care, good skip on to the next video. But um, I am going to show you guys some of our um, like most recurring meals that um, we make. We, <laughs> that's funny, I make. Nick cooks eggs <laughs> and gets Libby lunch sometimes, but other than that, that's about it. And he washes dishes. But anyway, so um, the one that I'm going to start with right now is um, our spaghetti recipe. And um, right now I have like pretty much most of my products are from my garden last year or my mother-in-law's garden. So I will show you guys how we make our spaghetti and it is gluten-free and um, it's also on the keto side. So there you go, or low carb. So yeah, keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by chopping the onion. I'm only going to use half of it because I do have the salsa and um, it does have onions in it. And so I'm just going to use half, half, half of it and dice it up. And um, I'm going to cook everything in my Instapot and so that it's um, hot and ready for dinner because right now I do have time to make dinner. And who knows? I might not have time later. So, you know. You got time to do something, do it. Alright, so I'm we'll gonna go ahead and stick the onion in and along with the ground beef. I'm not gonna add any oil or anything because um, it's an all from an all-natural cow that does have um, some healthy fat to it, so I shouldn't have to add anything. And then I'll just put this on saute. My Instapot is pretty much newish to me. I haven't had it for very long since Christmas, so um, I'm still learning how to use it. This also just adds extra flavor to um, everything, so I think that's why it tastes so good. And then, um, besides just adding in like your regular seasonings and stuff. Oh, and I also forgot to mention I did put in some fresh garlic as well when I sauteed it with the onions. ready to go and then we'll cook the noodles and it'll be delicious. Okay, so that is it for this meal. I will continue on showing you guys the rest of the meals later on this week and yeah. Okay everyone, for today's second meal, or not today's second meal, but the second meal of this video, 
for dinner I am making pad thai and so when I make pad thai I use kind of like the vegetables that we currently have um, in a refrigerator or freezer and along with our rice noodles and chicken and eggs and all of that plus the sauce um, kind of just fry all up together and that is our pad thai so I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys what we have today and um, then show you how I make the sauce and then just the process of stir frying it really it's super simple very easy and it's nice to be able to use up the vegetables that you have in your refrigerator that you need to so I'll show you guys starting off I have um, my chicken breast here and our eggs again zucchini from my garden here are my pad thai noodles I bought in a giant huge bag from um, smart savers and then I just broke it into a couple bags because it was very large um, some leftover onion from yesterday's meal, and I have um, some cooked uh, broccoli and cauliflower that I'm going to throw in there as well. Alright, so I'm using this huge pan here, and I am going to just start by um, chopping up the onion and um, throwing some garlic in there and <clears throat> with the chicken and just sauteing it up so that it's all cooked and ready to go. Also, I apologize if you hear Mickey Mouse in the background. Mouse Clubhouse to be specific because Libby has been into that right now and I cannot watch it with her because it's so annoying. So I let her watch it when I do things like this. Since zucchini is super watery and it is frozen, I'm going to put it in the microwave to defrost and then strain it so we don't have all that excess water in it. Okay, so to make the sauce, I'm going to need some garlic and um, gluten-free soy sauce because we are gluten-free. I have um, fish sauce, some sriracha, and some sesame seed oil. And I'm going to mix up all of those and that's how I make my uh, Thai sauce or my Thai Thai sauce. And that's just finishing up sauteing right now. And so let's go ahead and mix these together. So I'm gonna start off by using a jar with a lid so I don't have to stir. I'm just gonna shake it and dump it. So I'm gonna start off with my um, soy sauce. Be very long for. There we go, soy sauce, my sesame seed oil, my fish sauce. garlic in there because we already have garlic and I'm actually going to add some olive oil as well. Sometimes I like a little bit of a peanut flavor and so I will add peanut butter to it. Come on, Liz. Come on. There we go. We just shake it. Perfect. Okay, she's looking nice and sauteed. So now I'm just going to dump the cauliflower and broccoli in. And it's already cooked, so I'm basically just um, browning it a little bit. Nom, 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 nom. So I totally forgot 
that um, there needs to be brown sugar in my pad thai sauce. So I am going to um, put some of that in there. It's hard to do this one-handed. So I'm gonna put like about a fourth of a cup in and then shake it some more. Okay, so now I have the noodles boiling. They've already been pre-cooked, but since they were frozen, I am just like reheating them so it's only gonna take a couple minutes and then I'm gonna strain them out and plop them in there. So I almost dropped my noodles right down the drain, which have been so sad, but they're safe. It's okay. I burnt my hand <laughs> when rinsing them out, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. The noodles are safe. So now I'm just cracking the eggs into the middle of my pan here. So that's um, it for the pad thai. It looks delicious. I am excited to have some. Look at I still have cilantro on my hands. <laughs> but um, it's super easy, nice that I can just kind of put together things I have in my fridge and feed the family. So yeah. Okay, it's time for another meal prep. As you can see, my face is not perfect today. Um, no makeup on, my hair is up in a messy bun. Yeah, I've been having some really bad neck problems. I'm gonna go get them fixed tomorrow. But um, anyway, so let's make another dinner. So don't mind this noise here. I've got um, meat dehydrating for jerky, and so it's kind of loud. But um, we're gonna be making another meal. I am defrosting um, some chicken legs right now. They're, I get them in a big pack, and then I um, divide them up because you know, there's just three of us. So anyway, those are defrosting. I'm probably going to do a honey mustard chicken I just use, um, let me find it. Uh -huh. This Winco honey mustard right here to have it marinate um, in. And then I do also have some roasted vegetables I have all ready to go. They are, are just um, tossed in olive oil and garlic and salt and pepper. So that's what's gonna go on for dinner tonight. Um, I'm also in the middle of doing um, bone broth as well in my Instapot, and so um, my kitchen is just hopping this morning, or not nice, this afternoon, I've been working on it all day. But anyway, so I was just going to let you guys know what we're having for dinner, and um, it's super easy, and I'll just show you how we um, roast the chicken and the vegetables, and it's going to be super simple, but it's very delicious, and we've been having it like pretty often and it's inexpensive so that's always nice too so yeah
All right, so I added, decided to add another vegetable for dinner, and this is an acorn squash that I cut up so you can kind of eat it like a watermelon rind, but I am going to roast them as well. I just melted some coconut oil here. I'm gonna toss them in there and then just put some salt on them and then bake them with the rest of the stuff. Okay, so I'm um, gonna end on a crazy facial hair look today, but um, thank you guys for watching this video on the meals that we like to eat. And um, these are like some of our pretty re reoccurring meals, especially if like I don't know what to make. Um, these are kind of like my fallbacks. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we are gonna go now eat dinner. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time, bye.